Hey, so here we are. Just so you know, we're training for the Disneyland Half Marathon, the El Paso Full Marathon, and the Calgary Full Marathon. So, this is uh, the end of week four of training. Stick around, we've got updates. Halfway point. We're running four today, so two more all the way back. Guess what? It's all uphill for me. <laughs> Hey, hey, last time we talked about the aspens are turning color. Here's a good shot of a group of them. You can, you can see how they're starting to turn. It's beautiful. That's our four miles for today. <laughs> uh, hang around, we have a uh, recap of the week. Hey, hey everybody, thanks for joining us. Week four, we ran three times this week. We have done that every week of training, except for the first week. Yeah, that's true. We're, we're, we're yeah, we're doing all right. And uh, this was a particularly <clears throat> difficult uh, week logistically <laughs> because we had to go to Santa Fe, New Mexico mm -hmm. to have our car uh, service, the regular service interval. And doctor stuff and errands and errands. whatever. Oh, what? one, one of the errands, we bought freshly roasted hatch green yes. chilies. To yeah. Go this. So basically we, uh, <clears throat> we knocked out a real quick run on Tuesday, mm -hmm. another real, real quick run on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, so it's Tuesday, week four, and we're out on our first run of the week. Yay for us. <laughs> hey. It, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Week four, this is our second time out running. Yay for us. <laughs> and then Wednesday afternoon after work, we head to Santa Fe. So while in Santa Fe, we were thinking like, okay, so it's hatch season yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> um, wouldn't it be great if we could find a roaster? Because we don't have any in our little village. Um, Taos has some, but it's mm -hmm. yeah. kind of hard to get there sometimes. Yeah. So uh, wouldn't it be great? And I thought, you know what? We're probably not, they're probably not roasting on mm -hmm. days other than the weekend, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, so did I didn't think we would be able to find some. And then as we're, uh, you know, toodling down the main street there, I was like, oh, there they are. We're going to get some tomorrow. So, um, or was it that day? I don't know. It was a world one day. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Crazy. We did so much stuff on that day. Crazy. And here, here's the deal. <laughs> it was a 10% off Thursday at this place. And so I said, well, let me have a, let me have a, a bag. A sack. A bushel. Not a bushel. No. No, it's larger than a bushel. Oh, 35 pounds. It's 35 pounds. It's a big sack. Big potato, or a burlap sack. 
uh, that they put in the roaster, tumble it around with some heat, get, it all, get all the peppers blistered, yeah. and then dump them into a garbage bag for us uh -huh. that we brought home. 35 pounds, man. And <laughs> the we, car smells great. It still it really smells does. great. <laughs> so uh, we got them home, and you know, we got home at probably, I don't know, like five or something. And then we started working on the chilies because uh -huh. you got to peel them. Yeah. So the, the skins are kind of tough um, and not super digestive system friendly yeah so you know the, the blistering um you know chars them obviously sitting in the plastic bag for the three hours it took us to get home <laughs> um let them sweat and make it easier to remove so yeah. we spent about two and a half hours yeah. we, we worked for about 45 minutes mm, yeah we worked for like 45 to 50 minutes and then we take a break and then we do another 45 to 50 minutes and take a break. And then it was only like 30 minutes yeah. for the last section or the last chunk. But we peeled all of them and got them all stuffed into Ziploc bags and in the freezer. We have our next year's worth of green chilies frozen and ready to eat. They are Plus delicious. a little extra in the fridge that we've been eating with yeah. like every meal. Yeah, they're, del they're delicious. Yeah. If you've never had hatch green chilies, they really are delicious. Uh, they've got a unique flavor, man. We're mm -hmm. really psyched because yep. uh, literally these will last a year and then we'll just do it all again next year. <laughs> yep. We uh, just finished our last bag of frozen yeah. chilies from last year. Yeah. Uh, uh, they're working mm -hmm. on the, the mountain pass to get mm -hmm. from here to Taos. So we took a different route this and time. And like two other stretches of yeah, gnarly right. construction it, between here and San They're trying to get all the construction. Way. They're trying to get it all done before the snow falls. Which will be soon. It's very soon. So we went through a town called it's Las Vegas. It's not going to get done before <laughs> the snow done. arrives. It's not. Uh, we, we, we drove through a town called Las Vegas, New Mexico. And uh, it is the home of the uh, filming of the movie Red Dawn that was filmed back in 1984, the original mm. Red Dawn. Uh, so we saw one of the, uh, we passed by one of the uh, shooting locations. It's the um, uh, the drive-in drive -in. theater. Uh, so, uh, you know, I thought, hey, you know, next time we're here, if we have enough requests from you, uh, we'll do a, a movie location uh, video of the uh, shooting of Red Dawn throughout the town because uh, all all these places are, are still kind of around. Uh, some of the stuff's pretty interesting. I'm not going to give anything away. So if you're interested, let us know in the comments and uh, we'll do that. Also, there's a really, really, really good restaurant there <laughs> yeah. that we would um, love an excuse oh, yeah. to go to. Yeah, so we'll, we'll please do tell us we'll, to get in the car and drive we'll, an hour and a half to <laughs> yeah, Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for you. We'll yeah, do it yeah, for you. just just for yeah. you. Um, uh, speaking of which, <laughs> you know, uh, if you like this video, <laughs> hit like, uh, and please subscribe. Uh, and if you do hit the notifications bell, you'll be notified because here we are regularly posting as we train for all these races. And speaking of races, in two weeks, we are going to run an official race. Holy cow. We found a local 5k and get this. It's on the airport runway. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so we're it's kind of excited about it. We're gonna see how the 3030 works uh, on a oh, relatively yeah. flat surface. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll have that uh, video in a you know, few weeks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, today's run? Was today's run week? was the exact same route from last week. Four miles last week, four miles this week. We wanted to see how we do. We did, we did it great. It felt faster. I, yeah. I thought for sure we would have a faster time. It was a little It was faster. exactly the same. No, it wasn't exactly the same. I didn't run exactly the same. I we ran together. Uh, maybe because I had my phone with me. Long yeah. legs over here. <laughs> yeah, uh, so how we run is I run and David does this because he, he ends up like way far ahead of me and has to come back and move back for me. So yeah. he, his mileage always ends up a little longer. Yeah. yeah. Mine was like exactly the same. As last week's, and the same time. So whatever, that's cool. Yeah, what, what well, we did great. It's uh, a again, little over 13 minute mile. Yeah, uh, just, okay. yeah. So 13 minute mile here. Again, mm -hmm. we'll see what our uh, mile times are when we run that uh, uh, 5K on a pretty darn flat surface. Yep. Uh, but feeling pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we're sticking to it. So uh, that, I think that's great. Yep. And the mountain, man, it, it is just so these hills, mountainous yeah, hills are... that's rough. Yeah. But uh, uh, now the other thing we're going to do uh, as we catch up on our uh, sticker chart for this week 
is we received a load of firewood for this winter. You know, we had to, you know, be a, stay ahead of it because we need firewood for the winter to stay warm. And we received five cords of wood. Um, that's a ton. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. So we bought a little, uh, not a hand truck, not, not a wagon. Yeah, yeah. like a, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna spend some time today hauling and stacking some wood. Ooh. And then we're gonna do some yoga. And then we'll be caught up for the week because yeah. we had a couple of days that, like our travel day, yeah. we didn't do anything. Oh no, we did mall walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When was the last we time anybody be been in a mall? The mall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I needed to get some shoes for an upcoming Disney trip. Oh. We'll Which I found. Later. Thank you, Dillard's. Um, but we had to wait for Dill. Okay, so get this. This like blew my mind. And I again, I feel like such an old fart complaining I haven't been, about this. Sort I of haven't thing. been in a mall since like forever. I thought like ten o'clock was like standard mall opening time. Uh -huh. So the mall in Santa Fe opened at ten o'clock, but none of the department stores opened until eleven. <laughs> so we got there at like ten. We went to the World Market. We bought some neat like sauces and stuff, like whatever, we bought some random world market yeah. stuff. And then we went into the mall and we walked. We walked the mall, you know, we got like our little watch going. On the edge. We walked. <laughs> walked through finally, the food court. <laughs> they all smell the same. They do, gosh, um, I haven't been in a mall in like 30 years. I'm like, oh, I remember that smell. Um, <laughs> anyway, so we made it until 11, Dillard's open, and uh, yeah. we got some shoes. Yeah. I don't remember what made me tell that story. I just wanted a mall walk. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so that happened. Um, yeah, so we're going to haul some wood. Yep. Stack it. Uh, that'll be great. Take some ibuprofen. Come on back. Don't, Don't go let out. me down. <laughs> Don't let me down. Oh, man. I can feel uh, it already. So next next week, ooh, uh, we have to run five miles. Yeah, yeah, we're going up next week. So maybe we'll do the same route and just add an extra half of a mile on the end or maybe I'll try to find something different for us to do I don't know I'll just run we'll circles see. with me mm. I can't keep up <laughs> <laughs> hey thanks for watching uh thanks for your comments and uh oh uh just to let you know thanks for your concern uh no more carbon <laughs> monoxide warning so uh I think I think we're doing well oh and we checked you know there is actually an official induction capable logo that is printed on pots and pans here it is and here it is on our uh, cookware that we bought many many years ago look at really, us thinking really ahead. really thinking ahead <laughs> 10 yeah. years ago when we bought that set yeah. and you know lastly um uh, a, a very dear friend of ours had a medical emergency recently and we're very concerned michael if you're watching relax take it easy we love you so anyway, everybody, keep watching. Man, it is always an adventure with you. We'll see you next week.